Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about UPS battery connections, design and calculation. Let's start by understanding some important terms that are crucial to the UPS battery system. Number 1. Battery A battery is a single unit made up of multiple cells. For example, a typical 12 volt battery consists of 6 cells connected in series. Each cell contributes to the overall voltage of the battery. So, in a 12 volt battery, each cell is responsible for 2 volt. As you can see here, there is a block inside the battery and each block consists of 2 volt cell. A battery string is a group of batteries connected in series. When batteries are connected in series, the voltage add up. But the capacity, that is ampere hour, remain the same. I will explain it to you later. Third one, battery bank. A battery bank is created by connecting multiple battery strings in parallel. This increases the overall capacity of the system while maintaining the same voltage. If you need to power a larger UPS or load, you can connect several battery strings in parallel, which allows you for more energy storage to meet the demand. Fourth one, end cell voltage. End cell voltage it is the voltage of UPS battery refers to the lowest permissible voltage per cell during the discharge cycle, beyond which the battery should not be discharged. Discharging the battery below this voltage can lead to permanent damage and reduce capacity and shorter lifespan. So we should take care about end cell voltage. There is a typical end cell voltage of the different types of battery like a lead acid battery, typically 1.7 5 volt per cell or it can be range 1.70 to 1.80 volt. Nickel cadmium batteries that is 1 volt to 1.1 volt. This is the range of end cell voltage per cell. Lithium ion batteries 2.5 to 3 volt per cell. If we considered lithium ion battery pack then the nominal voltage of that battery is 48 volt. Typically it consists of 13 cell in series. Each cell has connected voltage of 3.7 volt. So the total nominal voltage of pack is 13 cell multiplied by 3.7 volt equal to 48.1 volt. This is the usual voltage of the battery. Each cell voltage should not drop below 2.5. This is the end cell voltage. So the battery pack end voltage that we call total minimum voltage for pack or battery equal to 13 cell multiply by 2.5 volt. This is the end cell voltage equal to 32.5 volt. That means 32.5 volt is the minimum voltage of the battery. Why this matter? If the voltage of entire pack drop below 32.5 volt, it means that one or more cell have discharged below the safe limit of 2.5 volt. Discharging below this limit can damage the cell reducing their capacity, efficiency and overall lifespan. Now let's talk about series connection. What happen in series connection? When battery are connected in series, their voltage add up, but the capacity AH remain the same. In a series connection, the negative terminal of one battery is connected to the positive terminal of the next battery. This pattern continues until all batteries are connected and the remaining positive terminal and negative terminal become the output terminal. As you can see here, each battery has 12 volt and 25 AH. When connected in series, the total voltage is 12 volt plus 12 volt equal to 24 volt. The total capacity, that is AH rating, remain the same as a single battery. This is 25 AH. Same way, if we connect total 3 batteries in series, then total voltage become 12 plus 12 plus 12 equal to 36 volt and total capacity remain same that is 25 AH. Series connection is used when you need higher voltage but don't require increased capacity. Now let's see parallel connection. What happen in parallel connection? When batteries are connected in parallel, their capacity AH add up but the voltage remain the same as a single battery. In this diagram, two batteries in parallel. Each battery has 12 volt and 25 AH capacity. When connected in parallel, the total voltage remain the same, that is 12 volt. But the total capacity, that is AH rating, is 25 plus 25 
equal to 50 EH. Same way, if we make parallel connection of three batteries, then voltage will be same. But a total capacity will increase. That is 25 EH plus 25 EH plus 25 EH equal to 75 EH. This is the total capacity of battery. It will be increased. It will be add up. Parallel connection is used when you need higher capacity. Means longer run time. But don't require increased voltage. Voltage will be same. Here you can see how 12 volt batteries are connected in series to increase the overall voltage. Here total of 40 batteries are connected in series to achieve 480 volt. So this is the benefit of series connection. When you connect multiple battery together in series like this, it is called a string in a UPS. This is a string. To increase the capacity or AH rating, you connect multiple string of battery in parallel. Here how it works. To increase the capacity or AH rating, you can connect multiple string of batteries in parallel. In parallel connection, the positive terminal of all battery strings are connected together and the negative terminal are also connected together. This way, the voltage remains the same. As each string has the same voltage, but the capacity EH rating increases because you are combining the energy stored in each string. So these are the basic of UPS. Now we will learn how to calculate proper battery size and battery bank for the UPS. Let's take one example. Here the inputs are UPS rating 400 kVA, load power factor 0.8. This is the power factor. UPS efficiency 95%. Number of batteries is 40. End cell voltage is 1.75 volt per cell. Backup time required. 10 minutes. Aging factor 1.25. Design margin 1. Temperature factor 1. Now we will calculate the required battery bank or we can see string. So we need to convert UPS rating into what? The formula is UPS rating multiplied by power factor. UPS output power equal to 400. This is the UPS rating in kVA multiplied by 0 0.8. Power factor equal to 320 kilowatt. Now we will calculate nominal battery load. Nominal battery load in watt equal to UPS output power divided by UPS efficiency. As we calculated here, UPS output power is 320 kilowatt. So we need to convert into watt. So it become 320,000 divided by 0 0.95 equal to that is 336,842 watt. Now we will calculate battery load per battery. Divide the total battery load by number of batteries to get the load per battery. So battery load equal to nominal battery load divided by number of batteries. Nominal battery load we already calculated here 336,842 divided by 40. This is the battery required. After solving this equation we get 8421 watt. Now we need to consider some safety factor like design margin. A safety factor usually one or slightly more like 1.1. It makes sure the battery is not overloading during operation. Aging factor. Battery lose capacity over a time. An aging factor usually 1.25 or 25% extra capacity we can say is added to ensure the battery can still perform effectively as it gets older. And the third one temperature correction factor. Battery performance is sensitive to temperature. At the lower temperature, the battery ability to deliver lower power. Considering design margin, aging factor and temperature correction factor, we get the adjusted battery load. So the adjusted battery load equal to battery load multiplied by design margin multiplied by aging factor and temperature correction factor. After adding this equal to Battery load what we have calculated here 8421 multiply by we, we considered 1 as you can see here multiply by 1.25 this is the aging factor multiply by 1 this is temperature correction factor. Now after solving this we get 10,526 watt per battery. In the market batteries with such a higher capacity like 10,526 watt are not available because it exceed the capacity of commonly manufactured batteries. To handle this high load, the total required load is divided across multiple string of batteries. This way, a smaller capacity battery can be used effectively by connecting them in parallel. 
So in that case, we need to find the number of strings, how much string we require to connect in parallel. So the formula is number of a string equal to adjusted battery load divided by battery capacity. From the battery catalog, a suitable cap battery capacity is selected. Let me open this catalog. And here, yes, we can see here this is the battery rating in this side and uh, we are designing here for 10 minute backup only. So this is the backup time. So what we selected here for 10 minute, I can select this 3552 means 12 volt 166 160 EH battery. So we can select battery with 3552 watt capacity which is realistic and available in the market. So the battery capacity, I am selecting here 3552 watt. Number of a string that is uh, 10,526 divided by 3552 watt we selected from the catalog. If we divide this number, we get 2.96. That is equivalent to 3. So we can connect 3 strings of battery in parallel. Then the question arises here. Why not choose a lower capacity battery? Like uh, I have selected here 3552. Why not I select uh, 3135 or 2886? Suppose if we choose a battery with less than 3552 watt, the available backup power will be reduced. This means that you need to more a string in parallel to meet the required total load because each string will deliver less power. For example, if you choose a battery that can only deliver 3135 watt for 10 minutes, so through calculator we can check 10526 divided by 3135 equal to 3.35 means it is more than 3. We required 4 string in a parallel connection, 4 string parallel connection. That's why I selected 3552 watt battery and it gives the value 2.96 means we need 3 string only. So this is the reason why I selected this battery capacity range. So the based on our calculation, the battery arrangement is as follows. There are 3 string of batteries, each with a total load of 480 volt and the capacity of 160 h these strings are connected in parallel so the total voltage remain 480 volt while the capacity add up to give total capacity of 160 h plus 160 h plus 160 h equal to 480 h now let's see another example watt per cell method Watt per cell method, a method to size battery using watt per cell. Rating is provided in manufacturer catalog for different backup duration. Let's take one example. UPS rating 200 kVA, load power factor 0 0.8, inverter efficiency 94%, system voltage 420 volt and cell voltage 1.75 per cell. Backup time required 15 minute battery type 12 volt battery with 6 number of 2 volt cells in series. Now we need to calculate the number of batteries and select a suitable model from manufacturer catalog. Now first we need to calculate the number of batteries. How many batteries is required in one string? So the formula is quantity of battery per bank means one string how many battery required equal to UPS battery bus voltage that is uh, system voltage we can say system voltage divided by battery voltage so equal to 420 volt this is uh, system voltage divided by 12 equal to 35 that's mean we need total 35 battery in one string in one bank and uh, how many cell we required so number of cell per bank uh, 35 multiplied by 6 equal to 210 this is because each battery consists six cells so 35 battery consists 35 into 6 210 cells 210 cells required 
now we will calculate watt per cell the formula of watt per cell equal to va multiply by power factor divided by efficiency multiply number of cells so we just put all these value in this formula watt per cell equal to 200 this is 200 uh, ups rating kva so we need to convert into va so for va we can multiply 1000 multiply by 0 0.8 this is power factor divided by 0 0.94 if this is the efficiency multiply by 210 means number of cells how many cells we required we already calculated here 210 so after solving this equation we get 810.5 watt per cell means one cell required 810 watt so the calculate watt per cell exceed the capacity of single battery bank 810.5 watt is not available in catalog because the value is very high so in that case what we can do we just divide into two or three if we divide into two means we require two string in parallel we calculate that each battery cell need to handle 810 watt which is too much for a single bank so option one we will do watt per cell for two bank in parallel we will make two bank because for one bank the capacity is very high 810 watt per cell is not available in catalog so what we will do we just divide this into two means we use two bank in parallel which divides the total power load by two this reduces the power per cell to 405.2 watt which is safe since the battery can handle up to this value by using two bank we distribute the load evenly ensuring the system operate efficiently and safely we can select from the catalog let's go back to the catalog and uh, here we can see for 15 minute we can use we can use this one 476 the model is s12 v500 f and the wattage of battery cell is 476 watt per cell this meets the requirement efficiently so the total number of battery required equal to 35 per bank multiply by 35 numbers of battery multiply by 2 this is 2 means 2 banks connected in parallel one string has a 35 numbers of battery and another string also 35 numbers of battery so 35 multiply by 2 equal to 70 total battery we required here 70 numbers so total 70 numbers of battery we required let's see option two if we divide the total power load into three string in parallel then the total load is divided by three reducing the power per cell to 270.2 watt the total load is divided by three and the power per cell is 270.2 watt this means we need a battery that can handle at least 270.2 watt per cell so again from the catalog we can find the model here you can see s12 v 285f this is the model number and the capacity is 279 watt per cell which is the perfect match for the design so we will so we will choose this model 279 watt per cell then in this case the total battery required total number of battery required equal to 35 because each string has 35 batteries multiply by 3 equal to 105 batteries required in this option if you choose option number 2 then we required 105 batteries because we connected three battery banks in parallel so based on our calculation this is the battery arrangement is as follows three strings of a battery and all are connected in parallel each string with a total voltage of 420 volt so friends in this video i explained how to calculate ups battery size please like and subscribe to my rashid iqbal channel thank you very much and see you in the next video